Hey, Ty, uh, obviously not the way you guys wanted to close out the uh, first half of the season pre-All-Star, but I, I guess what did you make of, you know, you guys got up to a 16-point lead. You, you, there were some good things in that game, but I guess main takeaway from a game like that, uh, yeah, just the way we ended the second quarter. You know, we got guys out because of foul trouble, and then they go on a 7-0 run in a minute and 12, and you just can't do that. You know, we talked about coming to the game, turnovers. We had 19 turnovers, which gave them 27 points, and um, you just can't do that. The margin for error is so slim, you know, when you're missing two key guys. So we got to just do a better job taking care of the basketball. Um, closing that closing that uh, second quarter was, was the biggest thing for me. We'll move over to uh, Owen. Hey, Ty, uh, how's, how's PG doing, and do you expect him to be able to play in the All-Star game? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see him after the game. Um, what, 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 what did you, I guess, what, what was told to you, I guess, before the game? When did you find out that he wouldn't be able to go? Um, right, before, right before the game, again. You know, um, I, don't, I don't really know what was wrong, but I just said PG's a late scratch. Um, so, you know, we had to do what we had to do. Thanks, Ty. Yep. Okay, let's move over to uh, Justin Russo. Hey, Coach, uh, you pointed to the 19 turnovers leading to 27 points. Do you think that was more something they did or that the team just didn't do executing-wise? I think that we did. I mean, they did a couple of things that, you know, they got into us and pressured us, which, um, you know, we struggled with their pressure and them getting into our airspace, but we still got to do a better job protecting the basketball. Um, we had a couple, you know, a few lazy turnovers that, you know, were unforced that we got to take away. But, you know, for the most part, I thought they got into us. You know, we didn't really own our airspace. And uh, we turned the ball over, you know, way too many times. Let's move over to Andrew. Hey, Ty, um, the kind of the, the shot quality you guys had talked about, wanting to get a better shot quality in those late game minutes. Tonight seemed like you guys got more of those shots late. Every shot, yeah. But it just weren't knocked down. I mean, how do you evaluate what you were able to do in terms of giving yourself a chance to score late? Um, I liked it. You know, I thought we got into the paint. I thought we um, did a small, small screening. Uh, Nick did a good job of slipping out, and we continued to drive and kick. And, you know, we got good shots down the stretch. You know, we weren't able to make and capitalize on it. But, you know, it's just part of the game. But that does show growth and um, what, we're been, what we've been working on and trusting the pass and trusting the play. And we just didn't make shots. You had talked about Luke had, had stayed ready per your instructions. Um, I guess, what do you think of him tonight, and does this give you – I guess confidence that, you know, if, when you need him in the second half, uh, you guys can turn to him. Yeah, I mean, he was great. You know, just being, I think, being confident, look comfortable out there on the floor. Um, defensively, he was pretty good. So, um, you know, he came in, like I said, stayed ready, being a professional, uh, continuing to work on his game. And um, he was great for us tonight. So just happy to see Luke play well. Thank you. Uh, we'll move over to Law. Hey, Ty. Uh... This is the all-star break now, and obviously this road trip, I mean, it, obviously uh, it, it, um, it, it ends on a pretty bad note. So what do you kind of tell the team as far as that balance of staying ready um, and staying in shape and uh, also just mentally trying to get over what happened over this last week? Oh, uh, well, start I mean, pressing that, this week. Yeah, that shit's over. You know, just, you know, missing a few key guys. We did late scratches. And we, you know, I thought we did a good job of competing. Other guys stepped up. Like I said, Luke played well tonight. I thought Terrence Mann made a couple of big threes. And, um, you know, we got to put it behind us. The biggest thing is we got to come back at the break, you know, healthy, you know, with the mindset that we got some games we got to make up and we got to be ready to, to compete. Okay, we have time for a few more questions. We'll move over to Miriam. Um, you mentioned Terrence. I mean, he's just been so active for you guys. What, what do you, I mean, expect from him going forward in the second half? Obviously, he's been. Um, I, I don't know. Just, you know, he's, he's been good. You know, I think his energy, I think taking the challenge of guarding the best player every single night, um, his shot is coming along. He's got confidence in making his, making his shots. And, um, you know, Terrence Mann, like I said, he's been doing a good job of working on his game from last year to the summer until now, you know, every single day. And you can see the improvement and he's getting better and better. So just happy to see him, you know, being developed and, and playing the way he's playing. Can I, can I follow? Sorry. Uh, go ahead, Mary. Um, are, are you guys giving the players any instructions like while they head off to the break as far as sort of like, you know, to continue to take care of themselves COVID wise and, and all that? Or like, what's, what, what's that message been? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, take a step away from the game, enjoy yourself, but still, you know, try to follow the protocol as best as you can. You know, but you still got to take this moment to enjoy yourself and um, getting ready for the second half of the season. Okay, we'll end on uh, Pavy. 
What's up, Coach? Um, is it kind of, I guess, good for you guys to, you know, maybe get a break and kind of, you know, decompress after a little rough stress um, um, that you guys have had recently? Oh, I think so. I think, you know, just like you said, decompress. I think get healthy um, mindset. Um, of what, it's going to be a tough grind and, and be ready for the grind. You know, um, that's my biggest takeaway from the first half, you know, having a good flow and then come on this road trip and kind of, you know, couple injuries or a couple of missed games, but, you know, kind of let our guard down a little bit and we can't do that, but I am happy with the guys that stepped up and played well. And um, like I said, we, you know, we competed, you know, the best we could.